President Salva Kiir spokesperson Atenwek Aten has vowed to sue the century over its recent corruption report, saying that it was politically biased against the president. The War Crimes Shunt Pay report indicates that President Salva Kiir and former Vice President Riek Mashar, together with their associates, have accumulated wealth, including multi-million dollar mansions, top-of-the-range cars, and stakes in a number of overseas businesses. Speaking to Africa News Morning Call program, Brian Adeba, who was also part of compiling the report, said that they are seeking to disrupt and ultimately dismantle the networks of these perpetrators from making profits out of the conflict in South Sudan. First of all, with this report, we are aiming um, to um, uh, suggest to the authorities over here in the United States and elsewhere, uh, and especially in the United States, that there are very powerful toolkits, tools in the um, in the United States system here that can be used to change, uh, to, can be used as a leverage to change the calculations of the perpetrators of the violence in South Sudan. The aim here is basically to dissuade them from continuing war. The report commissioned by U.S. actor and activist George Clooney is expected to be presented to the international community as well as South Sudan's neighbors in order to urge them to crack down on banks that fail to stop dubious transactions and impose asset freezes on those responsible for human rights violations.